I also know that it, it, there's now is a lot of speculation about that Marilyn was in fact quite intelligent and not the simple blonde that everybody takes her for. But it, it's an, couldn't it be that she's a typical case of a simple girl that can't choose, choose between muscle and brain because uh, in her relationship she always shifts between the two, Jody Maggio or that writer, Miller, Arthur, Arthur, Arthur Miller, Miller, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so uh, I, I don't know if it if did she if really can, read those books. Uh, I don't think you can simplify it that that uh, extremely. I I do think she tried to surround herself with people that that would would inspire her to 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 expand her her, her intelligence in some way. And certainly Miller um, must have been she must have been attracted for, for that particular reason to Arthur Miller. Um, but you see also that she has her own path. What for me was so, so shocking is to hear, um, and you can find those things on, on YouTube now very easily, an interview, I think two, two weeks before she died, um, uh, with her and um, I think a trustworthy interviewer, and you hear her speak as a normal woman and not the Marilyn Monroe that you kind of see when they interview her. Uh, she has also a different voice, she doesn't have that sort of squeaking, uh, um, high-pitched voice trying to please, but she really is a woman. You could almost hear that she aged. She, by then she was 35, still young, but uh, a real woman age, age of a real woman. And that was quite confronting and shocking to hear uh, that she was, um, she had uh, let her guard down. 